Hello everybody, my name is Nectanebus and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Shell Shockers with unlimited FPS and how that can help you record with video um, recording software like OBS, which dramatically decreases your FPS in uh, these browser games like Shell Shockers. And keep in mind that um, this is the average view duration of my videos. And this is the percentage of people who watch my videos that are subscribed. So if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, um, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. Let's get to 100 subs. I would really appreciate that. Now let's get it. So right now I'm recording this on Bandicam because Bandicam does not lag my FPS, but I prefer to use OBS. However, for the purpose of showing you the difference uh, between the two FPS types, um, I'm gonna have to do it in Bandicam, otherwise OBS will lag it out and you won't really see the difference between the limited and unlimited FPS. So anyway, I'm playing um, Shell Shockers from the downloaded app. So anyway, let's hop into a lobby here and let's see, this is the uncapped FPS, right? This is the app that I download, that I just play day to day um, Shell Shockers on. So as you can see, the FPS is going around like uh, 50, um, it dropped down to 40, um, but like I can usually play, um, that's because of Bandicam is recording, but um, I can usually play Shell Shockers at 60 FPS. However, the uncapped FPS is a lot more. And obviously this is for Windows users, this is not for Mac users. I don't own a Mac, so I was not able to um, test any of the Mac methods that I saw because I don't have a Mac computer. So if you have an Apple computer, that's too bad. But yeah, this is for Windows, this is for PC, the OG, all right? So how this works is you need to run Chrome through a command in the command prompt with an argument at the end of it telling it to uncap the FPS. So I'm going to show you how to do that and keep in mind that what it'll do when you run the command, it'll open the browser version of Shell Shockers, not the downloaded version. So this doesn't work with the downloaded version and there isn't anything that can work with the downloaded version to my knowledge. I'm gonna show you how to do it um, using a batch file. So let's exit out of this. And I have one already here, but we're gonna be making a new one for the purpose of this video. So you're gonna right click, right click on your desktop, click new, um, hover over new, go to new, and then new text document. And you can name this text document anything you want. Shell Shockers Unlimited FPS, whatever. So then you're gonna open it, you're gonna go into it. And this is how you create batch files, by the way. So then you're going to type start space chrome space dash dash args args space dash dash disable whoops i spelled that wrong disable dash frame dash rate dash limit and that'll open an instance of chrome a window of chrome which will have the frame rate disabled, which means any games you play on that browser window or any tabs you open on that browser window, I believe they will have unlimited FPS. That includes all browser games. And there's another argument that I have in mind. Um, so you just, to add that other argument, you press space and another dash dash disable dash GPU dash V sync. I've experimented with um, a bunch of different commands and it didn't really make it didn't really make a difference for me so you can leave that part in or leave it out it doesn't i i don't think it really matters um but you have to have this disable frame rate limit in here um what we're gonna do is we're gonna save that just save just click save file save and then close it out and then what we're gonna do um for this you have to have an assert you have to have the file extensions enabled if you don't know how to do this you have to go into your windows explorer and you have to um, go to view and you have to click this thing over here under show and hide um, file name extensions you have to click that file name extensions to be able to edit this right and then what you got what you do is you right click you rename and you go in here after the dot and then you erase the txt which tells the computer it's a text document and type bat which tells the computer it's a batch document and what it'll do is batch documents and and it'll, it'll come up with this thing saying file name extension file may become unusable that's fine yes we do want to change it. it it will not become unstable if you change this to like um a word document it would probably become unstable and word would not be able to open it nor would it be able to function but we're just changing a txt to a bat and this is 
this is all within the realm of what the computer can read on it. So then basically it'll read what we just wrote in the text document as a command and it'll run it automatically through the command prompt for this desktop and it'll run Chrome right from where it is. That's pretty cool and all you have to do is double click on it and you can see the command prompt opened up in there and this is a new window and if I go here this will run um, if I go to Shell Shockers, the FPS will be uncapped. And also, I have to add, to do this, you have to close all other Chrome windows you have open. All other Chrome tabs, all other Chrome windows have to be closed before you click that batch file, or else it will not work and the FPS will not be uncapped. All the stuff, all the browser that you're signed into, all the browsers that you have currently open, it can't change the settings when the browser is open, so that so it'll just open a regular browser. You have to close all those browsers for the command to actually work. All right, so now we're in here. This is my Shell Shockers account. Um, obviously, I'm playing on browser instead of app. So then we'll see if we go. Let's go into a private map because um, private maps there's less lag in them, so the FPS, the uncapped FPS, will be more apparent and take a look at the FPS and watch it as it spikes above 60. So there it went, it went to 60 right there. 64. I saw the 64, there's a 64 there. 63. 66, it jumped up to 66. So as you can see, the FPS is uncapped. There, it went to 67, 68. Yeah, so the FPS is uncapped. The FPS is jumping above its regular limit. The FPS is uncapped. The only reason it's staying around there, um, I can get up to like maybe like 100 FPS if I'm not recording, but when I'm recording, um, the FPS um, usually lags more, obviously. So yeah, so that is the FPS uncapped. It not only uncaps the FPS, you actually get a greater average FPS while recording. So even if you don't see it go above 60, you will notice an FPS increase. Obviously, different computers will work differently, so it might not work the same for everyone's computer. Yeah, um, it works pretty well. Um, something, if you're not recording, if you're not recording with um, OBS or anything, and the FPS goes too high, something can happen where if the FPS like spikes too high, then the game will lag. Um, things won't happen in the game um, as fast as you might want them to. So what I do is because, because when I'm not recording, I do not use unlimited FPS because I get 60 FPS um, frequently and I don't need a higher, I don't really need a higher FPS because I get 60 consistently. And if I do uncap the FPS while not recording, the game goes, the frames go too fast for the game and it creates um, a sort of lag that happens. It all depends on your computer, so you might play around with it. All right, so now I'm recording with OBS. All right, so as you can see, we're getting just about the same FPS. We're getting around, it says we're getting around 40, 45, but um, it looks pretty smooth to me. Um, also, what you really wanna do is you wanna turn off high res, um, auto detail, and shadows. So you wanna turn all that off or else it'll severely decrease your FPS. And depending on your computer, um, another thing you might want to change is how your computer is optimized, which I will show you as well. I personally don't use it because yeah, I, because it literally does nothing to change my FPS. But um, if it were, if it does something to change your FPS, then that's another option you can use in conjunction with this unlimited FPS. So let I'm gonna go back to Bandicam to show you that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to optimize your PC. So basically what you wanna go do is you wanna go in here and then type my or this PC, my PC, this PC, and this will come up, this PC app. Then you wanna right click on it and click properties. That'll bring up this um, system settings type thing. And then you wanna go to advanced system settings. Um, you, you need administrator access to your computer to access this, but um, so if you don't have that, then obviously that's not an option for you um, if you're not an administrator on your own PC. But yeah, and then you want to go to advanced, the advanced tab, and then go under performance, click settings. And then there's three options here, or four really, but there's three main options. Let Windows choose what's best for my computer. It's it's like the def it's pretty it's the default option. Um, it unchecks and checks all these things in accordance to what Windows thinks um, your PC can handle. 
and what's best for a computer balancing appearance and performance. So then if you adjust for best appearance, basically it'll sacrifice your performance. So if you have a beefier computer, you might want to adjust for best appearance. And that basically enables all these things and your, just your um, PC, just the operating system and like all the windows and stuff you have on it, it'll just be a lot nicer or best performance, which I'm gonna show you. It just unclicks everything. It's really like low res. Um, it doesn't look very good, but it can boost performance. It doesn't necess It doesn't really boost my performance. Maybe on an older computer, you already have this. Um, you might wanna use this just to adjust for best performance if you have like an older or a slower computer, but I don't use it. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So as you can see, the text down here, it changed. The text is text is very uh, weird. As you can see, like it as I'm coming out of, and I'm, as I'm hovering over these, it'll be like this. If I go out of here, all the all the pictures that I have, they're, they're they don't show the picture. Um, if I'm switching between desktops, uh, you, you can literally not even tell the difference. Usually, you can see a swiping motion if you're changing between different desktops. Yeah, but that's what that is. Um, I personally don't use it, but if it helps you, then use it. I suggest like playing around with that and then playing around with the disable. GPU VSync, if it helps you or not. Uh, from the comparison, as you can see, all the pictures are shown, and I don't know if you can see the desktop smoothly changing, but it is. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any more questions, you can leave them down in the comments. For me, I would really follow this video, other videos and other sites that I've found that doesn't really work, and often older sites and older solutions that people have, they're outdated because Chrome has since updated since a lot of those came out, and I had to do a lot of digging to find out how to do this. And yeah, that's gonna be it, and I'll see you next week. Have a nice day.